On May 4th, 2021, the internet lost one of its most valuable contributions to entertainment. No, not YouTube or Omegle, rather an interactive site where users could have their deepest curiosities answered. A month before on April 5th, the web service company Yahoo announced we had to kiss their question and answer service Yahoo Answers goodbye. But what exactly was Yahoo Answers, and what makes its death something worthy to mourn? Launched on June 28, 2005, Yahoo Answers was born with the original intent of being a community-driven Q&A service, where users could provide answers for other users' questions. An upvote system as well as a function where the asker could choose the best answer ensured the utmost quality of responses, and for a time, truly earnest questions were met with truly earnest answers. But the quality of the site nosedived and Yahoo Answers fell victim to inevitable internet tomfoolery. It didn't help that the site lacked official moderation. The way the system was built tended to reward participation rather than accuracy. Points were awarded by users who likely had the same insufficient amount of knowledge as the respondents, meaning inaccuracies were common. The site also lacked a filtering system that separated correct answers from incorrect ones. The closest function they had to that was one that allowed the community to vote for the best answers but this function was sadly removed in March of 2014. Because of these flaws, Yahoo Answers would not only become a great meeting ground for trolls and wild conspiracy theorists, but would also draw in a plethora of bored internet users. In fact, the site became a source of entertainment, with content creators showcasing the most ridiculous of threads like the legendary Am I Pregnant question from the service. A simple YouTube search for Yahoo Answers brings up dozens of compilations of stupid Q&As, with many of these compilations sporting millions of views. Dumb Yahoo Answers is pretty much its own genre of content. But of course, this wasn't the main purpose Yahoo created the site for. That's probably why they made the decision to shut it down. In their April 5th letter to active Yahoo Answers users announcing the shutdown, it was explained that they decided to shift their resources away from Answers to their other products because the service had lost its popularity. This was a very vague, nondescript letter. Let's not forget that, for obvious reasons, the announcement decided to leave out the fact that the service had become a total joke of a site. The lack of explanation has led many interpreters to believe that Yahoo Answers was simply not making enough money and that the company was just unwilling to spend the resources to turn Answers into a better moderated service. It's a timeline that we've seen over and over again. Company releases service, service generates lackluster revenue, company decides to give the service, the X. But this decision is coming at a huge cost. The site will not be archived, meaning that 16 years of history will essentially be wiped from the internet. While users were given a month of warning and the opportunity to download their own data, Genuine concern about the non-existent attempt to archive the whole website arose. Some even called the one-month warning an insult to those dedicated to internet archival. The concern is understandable. Despite being the butt of jokes, it's a dangerous move to choose to delete a section of the internet that has existed for 16 years. Nevertheless, the majority of people are less likely to care about historical integrity. They're more likely to care about losing the goofiness of the website. Fortunately, a large part of Yahoo Answers will never die thanks to the multitude of videos immortalizing the best threads from the site. And while we lost years of content on the 4th of May, the quality of what we've lost is definitely something to doubt. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day.